Hey everybody, David Lemon here. We had a deployment for Groove Video and I just wanted to let you know what the changes are. So in case we go to Groove Video on the dashboard, we click on the Groove Video button and immediately on the left hand sidebar we can see that we have another button which says Categories. Categories are different uh, folders. You can think of it like different folders which you use to categorize your videos. So instead of all the videos showing as a, as a bunch of videos in a library, you can put them in different folders or different categories. Normally when you click on categories, you will see only the default categories. So you can head over to the upper right hand side corner, click the add new category button and just give this category a name. Let's just call this one tutorials. Once you're done, click the save button and then you will see tutorials will show up over here. Once you're done, navigate to your video library, then you can select a video that you want to put into that category. So you can click these three dots, edit, and then in the category section over here, you can just click tutorials. Once you save, you'll see that that video is not showing up anymore here. But in case you go into the categories over here, click on to the tutorials, then this video will show up on here. So which is pretty handy to separate out your different videos so you can use categories for different clients that you are working with, different websites, different funnels, different products. In case you have a bunch of videos for each and every one of these, then you can separate them further into these categories. In case you don't have a category for it, all of your videos will, will show up in a default category. They will be not categorized, but they will show up in this default category. So that's was, uh, that was a change that we added on, this categorization options. As you may have seen, we have added on some different uh, UI changes to the video library. Once you click on a video, you will not get the edit button and also the get video button, but you get now an option to actually see the video. So let me just click on a, on a valid video and this allows you to actually see and preview the video. If you would like to go and edit or get the video, code link or embed embed code um, you can click on these little three dots and then click edit get the video or delete so the menu has changed a little bit because now we allow customers and visitors and basically you guys to see the video before selecting the other options from these three dots we also improved the filtering now that we added on this categorization we improved the filtering on here so that in case you go to a different category and you have a lot of videos in here you still see all of these categorizations that were previously available only inside the video library so now you can see all of that in here we also changed the UI a little bit inside the editing of the videos tab so we can uh, we improved the primary and secondary color color pickers normally they were like pretty long and it was like uh, taking up a, a big part of this page but now we made them a bit smaller and we also added on the color pickers these pre-selected colors as we have them in groove pages and and other apps so this has been now improved and and just changed a little bit there was also a fix in case you go out to the analytics tab and you were clicking previously on these filtering and sorting options they were not working properly now we have fixed that so all of the the filtering inside the analytics tab is working so in case you click the uniques then it puts it on the bottom then if you click it one more time then it will put it on the top so it's filtering from the biggest to the lowest number and things like that you can also do that for the name impressions finishes and total watch time and the date as well so these are the changes that we added on to the Groove video. Hopefully you like them. Small changes, but very, very useful in case you're working with Groove video a lot.